I have over a billion views on my YouTube channel. So like I've done a lot of things in the past that I probably shouldn't have. And I hope, you know, I, I, I am apologizing for it. God damn Apex was brain dead all along. Suicide bomber. Another guy goes terrorists. Now hang on a minute right there. The religion or the theology that is responsible for the most deaths in that period. Number one is Christianity with a whopping 178 million. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. FaZe Clan is a fraternity of gamers who have followers in their millions. They have transcended the YouTube scene. My son on there with uh, you know, the football player in Arizona as well, as well Kyler Murray and, and the whole FaZe Clan is what they call him. And, <laughs> and have even now become a public company. FaZe Clan is going to become a public company. It's gonna be on Wall Street guys. Now I'm not here as a spokesperson for the FaZe Clan but what I wanted to talk to you about is one of their founders called FaZe Apex and here's what he said a couple of months ago. You know in the past I've made a lot of videos that I'm not too happy or proud about you know anymore. When I was younger I made some mistakes that I would try not to make today. I used to curse a lot of my videos you know use some music with bad words and just what well, had some things that were not that good of an influence so I just want to also apologize for that and hopefully moving forward my intention is to not do any of those things. And then a couple of days ago here's what he posted on his Instagram. Standing in front of the holy Kaaba in the holiest city for the Muslims he wrote, no blessing in life compares to the blessing of being a Muslim. Nothing gives you more peace and purpose in this world. Inshallah, God willing, we will be reunited together in the next life in the highest levels of paradise. I highly encourage anyone who has any interest or feels like they are missing a purpose in life to look into Islam. May God guide us all to the best for us in this life and the next. As I was scrolling down I did see some positive comments by atheists. Not a believer but I gotta respect your commitment. I'm glad to see you doing what you love. Personally not religious myself but that looks extraordinarily beautiful. Peace to y'all. I'm not religious nor will I be but the Muslim way of life and beliefs are truly beautiful. Then we had some positive Christian comments as well. One of them goes, I'm Catholic but I find this to be very beautiful and peaceful. Peace to all the Muslims. As a Catholic I'm happy you found your calling Apex. I'm glad you're happy in life because that's all that matters man. Phase up bro and keep being you. I'm Christian but damn that seems like such a vibe being there. Of course some Christians uh, looked for an opportunity to preach. Why? Why? One goes I love Apex but Jesus Christ is the only way into the next life. Another one goes Jesus is the only way. Another one goes Jesus is king. So much proof yeah it's just I'm, it's so convincing. Now I'm pretty sure the Kaaba gets covered in RE yeah religious education but some people recognize it from Fortnite. One guy goes he found the Fortnite cube and someone goes hey yo it's Kevin the cube from Fortnite. I mean I think the most concerning thing here is you still playing Fortnite? I mean does anybody still do that? Now this was my favorite comment that I saw yeah. One guy goes, you know what I truly do trust your heart and beliefs so maybe sometime down the road I'll consider investing my time into this. Respect a penator. Some people ask some genuine questions yeah like this one. What's the box called? I want to look it up. Quite simply it's called the Kaaba. K-A apostrophe B-A. I'm a Christian but this looks amazing for real. Can someone explain what it is? Yes of course, we pray at the Kaaba to Allah. The Kaaba is there to ensure uniformity and unity when we pray because as you know or maybe you don't know Muslims pray five times a day. So wherever they are on the whole planet or even on another planet we face one direction. Whether you're a king, whether you're a pauper, wherever you are you're facing the same 
one direction. I don't mean to sound rude or offensive, but do you not wonder what may be inside it? Yep, of course, yeah, we know there's nothing inside it. You can check a video on YouTube and it shows you, yeah. It's not what's inside it, it's what it represents. Question, because I don't know anything about this religion, do y'all worship a cube? Like I'm not trying to be mean or offensive, just extremely curious. Nope, we don't worship it, we orbit it to symbolize the oneness of God. Why? Because if you think about it, a circle only has one center and we have one God. And you see this even in nature, yeah? You look at the biggest of things, moons orbiting planets or planets orbiting stars or solar systems orbiting the Milky Way. Or even if you go minute and you look at electrons orbiting the nucleus. However, as with anything sweet, it attracted flies. So it's time to swat some of these flies. Wallahi you're finished. God damn Apex was brain dead all along. Another one goes, are you gay? And another one goes, what the F Apex? Verbal diarrhea, it's good to get it out of your system. <laughs> Make me sick. And of course some went, suicide bomber. Another guy goes, terrorists, by the way. What? Now hang on a minute right there. There was a study done, yeah, from 0 to 2008. That's right, the religion or the theology that is responsible for the most deaths in that period. Number one is Christianity with a whopping 178 million. Yes, that's right. And number two is not Islam, nor is number three, nor is number four, nor is number five. Oh look, the little dinky option in number six. Yes, that's Islam. And let's not forget the 2008 report by MI5 that confirmed that the Muslim extremists don't know their religion properly and they don't practice it either. And let's look at a study by Dr. Robert Pape who says before 2003 in Iraq, there were no suicide attacks. Exactly mate, before 2003, only when the US entered Iraq, that's when we had the suicide attacks. Let's swat some more flies, yeah? <laughs> Lol, it's literally a box. Well, what do you know? It seems Einstein has finally cracked the code. Touch the stone, nothing happens. Touch Jesus, you get healed. Amen. Just hold on to your amen, yeah? Isn't Jesus supposed to touch you, mate? Not the other way around. Walking around a box isn't getting you to heaven. Nor will sitting on Instagram watching gamers. But inherently you're right, walking around the Kaaba won't get you into heaven. But walking around it should inspire change, which should inspire you to do good, which should make it easier for you to get to heaven. Dumb Islams. Sounds like you're having a stroke just typing that mate. <laughs> Calm down, find yourself someone to love mate. <laughs> Settle down, have kids, be a productive member of society. For God's sake, get off Apex Instagram page, please. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, let's leave it there. Respect to my bro Apex and all the other brothers that are mashallah making this change and introspecting because it's only when you take time out and really introspect, look into yourself. The Quran invites you, wafi anfusikum. Yeah, look into yourselves. And yes, you will find the truth. Really look into what you're doing and where you're going. Fa'ayna tadhabun, the Quran says. Yeah, where are you going? And I'll leave you with that thought until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.